Welcome to my little golden book, Sleeping Beauty art journal or sketchbook. I got this from Art Journaling the Magic. Tangie Baxter's husband makes them. She does fabulous, fabulous art retreats. If you ever get a chance to take one, I highly recommend it. And they make the most beautiful books. I have just put a clear cover on this. This is the clear cover is made from plastic that I got at the local fabric store. I believe it's also available online at like fabrics.com. And it's just made with tape. It's folded the same way you fold those old plastic covers we used to put out of paper bags on our books for school. I worn this book is not finished. Some of the drawings still remain as sketches. I figure this is a sketchbook. I'm ready to be finished with it and move on. And I thought we'd just do a little walk through, talk about some of the pages. I was working on some plein air sketching, trying to decide what techniques I like, what style I liked. This time I was working with little small drawings to get a complete building in, trying to be expressive with my watercolor, and I was taking some notes about how I felt. I went out one day to a local bakery, and I decided what I really loved about this was just this watercolor being expressive in the background. This is done with a permanent pen that I've been using as my shading pen. You can see when I got them in, I think they're called fine liners and it's a brush pen. I was doing some tests and you'll see lots of little tests throughout here. This house was a beautiful little country house and I really toned up some of the purples and bright greens and I just loved some of the coloring in here. And after I did this, I added this red and this purple right to my main palette. These are some pen tests that I did. They were water soluble. I just wanted to see how water soluble they were. Oh, and you can see those are those permanent pens. These are not permanent. They're the Arteza water brush pens. And I don't know how I feel about them. I haven't used them enough to have an opinion. I know there's some artists out there who just really, really love that technique of the water brush pen and then adding water on top of it. I'm, I'm still practicing and learning. But I do like some of these pinks. It had a nice set of pinks and purples in here. And some beautiful like tealy blues. Oh, you can see I must have found a pen and tested it over here. You'll see a lot of little like ink drawings that I didn't color in. Just tests. I like to draw in the evenings after I get my daughter to sleep. And pens, just a good way to smack down some color. This was also in Inktober. So I was preparing for Inktober and you can see I'm swatching out some of my browns, figuring out what brown I like to work in with skin tones. Also, I had just printed some stickers. So I've got some stickers from my sticker sheets throughout here, just decorating my pages. Occasionally, I really love using these kid stencils with letters. I just think it's really fun. You can fill it in with a bright color. Oh, and you can see she had pink hair. So I was like, she matches. This is a little piece of washi tape that came on something that I got from James Luke Bark. I just thought it was too cute to throw away and it needed to find a place in my journal. These are also inspired by at James Luke Bark. Uh, he had some cute little fairies that he was doing in October and I was like, oh, and they're just the shape of their little bodies was darling. I think my faces ended up a lot fatter than his. His faces tend to be beautiful, thin, but I like the fat. And I was playing with some different skin tones, just trying to use pink instead of a peachy color as a skin tone. I'm not sure it was terribly successful, but the place to do this is definitely my sketchbook. These girls I had made into a sticker. It's actually one of my favorite stickers, these fat little girls and their hot dog buns. You can see up here, I do a lot of tests in my journals, just seeing how colors layer, how they move or don't move with water. Little hair, blue haired girl. I also like to make lists. If I'm having a hard time deciding what to do or feeling like I'm low on inspiration, I literally just list things that I love. That tends to be a lot of food. I'm always on some sort of restricted diet to try and stay healthy. So there's a lot of things like cupcakes and cake and brownies and banana splits that I don't get to eat. But I do love them. I love looking at them. So I like to list them and then I like to draw them. Here, sometimes I list just ideas 
for what I want to do next. I always try to leave a few blanks and I'll go back and add and I can always pull this notebook out if I'm feeling low on the ideas and just be like, okay, maybe today I need to make a girl holding a bunny balloon and bunny balloons. I mean, that's always cute. I've been playing with cotton candy hair. My hair used to be pink and blue. Now I just have pink in my hair, but I like the idea of having you know, a girl who has all cotton candy. Here's my little milk girl, strawberry milk, little cookie. I feel like they would be best friends if they really existed. And I also like that her hair, I ended up using the same color and I was like, oh, she has strawberry milk hair and she has a strawberry milk body. How cute is that? Here is a list. I made my own words for Inktober for inspiration. And as I was doing them, I was checking them off. I know I did a few more and I didn't quite check off everything. And I didn't finish, but I was super happy that I had done it and I had worked with words that I found exciting. And I think these are all things that I could revisit and do again. This French fry girl, I just, I got her drawn out and I didn't love her. So I didn't want to erase her, but I also didn't want to spend a bunch of time throwing color at it. I feel like sometimes when it's in a sketchbook that gives me permission to just say, okay, I've got the idea out of my head and I don't need to spend more time on it. I can turn the page and work on something more exciting. These are little mermaids I did for my mother and she just loves these. I, um, sent her some digital images and I owe her some postcards. And I was also playing with working with wet on wet in here. And you can see where I've dropped color into other color just to see what it does. And I think mermaid tails are a really fun place to play with adding colors that I'm not sure necessarily go together. And they mix and they just, they give you that fun watery feeling. Pumpkin girl. I didn't know which way to go with it. I didn't know how fat I wanted her to be. I didn't know if I wanted her to be in more of an outfit or be more of made of a pumpkin. Like this one, she doesn't even have arms. She's just pumpkin girl with like, I love this hair color. I don't remember what I used for it. I didn't make any notes, but I really, really love this pinky hair color. And you'll see this little girl suit with her heart appears. My daughter wears these Hannah Anderson zip up suits. That's all she wants to wear all day. Getting her into regular clothes is really hard. They're called sleep and plays and she just loves them. And I imagine this is her just being like, Rawr, I'm going to take over the world in my little heart suit. And this girl, she's another example of, I just want to get an idea out of my head. She's squeezing her little ghosty. Maybe I'll go back one day and draw her. I like the idea of the little ghost sticks. I love things on little sticks. So here I was definitely starting my Inktober. I had pulled out my ink pens. These are those Faber-Castle ink markers. And I was just messing with colors. I was looking at chibis online. Oh, you can see I did this girl. I think I did this one first and then I went back and did that other drawing. And I was just playing with just adding a minimal amount of color to see how that looked. And coming up with just ideas. Ooh, look, there's a bunny balloon. Um, and this little bunny, if he had a string, he could be a cute balloon. I don't know what this is, but I wish I were eating it. It looks really yummy. And I love the cheeseburger spider from the Cloudy with Meatballs. I've been working on a few drawings. After I did this, I did a bigger drawing with a girl writing a cheeseburger spider. I also love boba tea. I actually don't like to drink it. I think it's a little weird to like eat your drink, but I think it's the cutest like food or dessert ever. I love, 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 love drawing it. And here I was working on some healthier options. This is my broccoli girl. That's my carrot though. I think she looks a little more like a radish. I like to use my journals as a place to play with different techniques. So I was going back in, this is just colored pencil. I was working on my blending. These are those yummy candies. I must've gotten a couple from somewhere. I don't remember eating them. I just wanted to look at them and then draw them. This is a practice page for stars. And you can see I've tested some of those Faber-Castell markers here. Oh, here's another colored pencil, banana girl. I was working on the word moon. So I was trying to do little sketches, these little thumbnails. 
in the evening and then do a bigger drawing off of it. This girl, she never got finished, but she is cute. I should come back to her, I feel like, maybe one day and flesh out the burger and her hair. But again, she's in that little suit. I just love those little suits with little hearts. Those are super cute. Here's some practices for my rainbow girl. And then I did all these practices that had rainbows. And then I did a girl who had rainbow hair and she's like walking on her hair and magical rainbow hair. And you can see I tested, I must have decided to, I found a second box and I was testing those Faber Castle markers again. I think they're brush pens, brush pens. This is for my strawberry girl. So I've got strawberry Pocky and then I've got a girl made out of strawberry. I really, sometimes when I go through these journals, I feel like I have more freedom in my sketchbook because you just get to turn the page when you're all done. So I, I, I love these little marks that I've been making in here. I definitely want to revisit that in some of my current work. This is my bandolier bunny girl. And I have been working on her image on and off for a few years. I have this idea of this girl who runs around fighting the world, making everything right with her bandolier of bunnies. And I, I'm not ready to paint her. I know that I want her face to change a bit, but I feel like this is definitely a start in the right direction. I like how my bunnies are starting to come out in her bandolier and she's got some extra bunnies with her. I imagine she would have like a stockpile somehow, maybe like a backpack with additional bandolier bunnies. And peas and carrots was a prompt one day and I must have been a little like grumpy that day because all my peas and carrots seem a little grumpy. I think I revisited this idea and made them cute because I was like, mm, I don't know. This was a fun technique that I do sometimes where I start with black pen. I just draw straight in with the pen. I use a permanent one and then I go back with watercolor, colored pencil, watercolor pencil, and I really brighten and tone up those colors. I get a lot of movement, but yet you've got these very defined images and it's a technique that I'm starting to really enjoy. And you can see also I've used a black stamp in the background and I love adding stamp to my artwork. This is my marshmallow day and you can see, so these were all my test ideas for her. So from her, I've just extrapolated, you know, she's here except for she's got bare feet and she's sitting and then the three marshmallows and they didn't end up with faces. To me, this seems like a really nice complete, like I feel like this would make a cute postcard. Maybe I should do that. And I, I just, I love her little fat face with her fat little cheeks. This one is my lollipop day for the word lollipop. And I just, if I were a little girl and somebody were like, lollipops, they grow wild with little hearts in the ground. This is, this is how I would be. I'd be like, I need them all. They'll regrow. And I love the repeat of the hearts. I was really in a heart movie mood in October. Oh, yeah. See here, I revisited the peas and carrots. I was like, no, I need to redo that one. I love those little long legs. I think I should do more creatures with super long stripy legs. And I feel like the stripes could be like the Cheshire cat, that pink and purple. And look, she's got little peas in her hair. These are some colors that I got from a girl named Nicole. She's a full-time artist, I think. And then just does some handmade paints on the side. And you just combine once in a while. This color is just this yummy brown banana color. And I've been using it in a lot of my skin tones. And I put it in my main, I pulled it out of her little palette. I put it in my main palette. And I just really think this is such a beautiful soft brown. This is a cookie girl for the word cookie. And I had done cookie girls a number of times. So I wanted to do something different. And so I made her cookie hair that she can dip in her pink milk with her little, I love it when you put fuzzy bear ears or any ears or antlers on little girls. I just think that's darling. Here is a cake girl and I actually loved this idea the most. I, I still think I might eventually revisit this idea. I love this cake with the chocolate frosting and lots of color sprinkles and lots of little girls. I would do a bigger drawing and I was so excited about the idea and I was like, oh, I just, I was doing a drawing a day or trying to do a drawing a day in October and I was like, I can't do it. I can't get that all done in a day. So I ended up doing, instead of a bunch of little girls on a cake, I did one little girl on a piece of cake 
And I gave her some extra cherries just to make her happy. It's my rain rain day. It might have been raindrop. I'm not sure which was the word. And I love her. She's like, hey, I'm in here. And the little girl's sitting. And this one, she ended up upside down somehow. And her hair is smushed out. Just thought that was a really fun idea. Oh, and she's in a raincoat with little yellow rain boots. And my last page isn't very exciting. I was swatching out colors, trying to decide which colors to add or remove from my palette. Actually ended up with this lovely bright orange from Schminky and then some Daniel Smith that's purple right. This is Daniel Smith. I don't remember what it's called, but this deep red I'm in love with. Um, so that comes to an end with my journals. Thank you for spending some time with me and I hope you have fun arting.